Hello class, I'm happy to welcome you to our course. This is an introduction to petroleum engineering. It will take you through the basics of each major role in petroleum business. You will learn about how all these roles interact and how oil and gas fields are found, developed and operated. You will learn that producing oil and gas is a complicated but exciting job. I hope you will enjoy the course and find the answers you are looking for. And if you have more questions, welcome to our forums, they will be glad to help you. So, let's start our exciting journey into petroleum business, starting with a variety of petroleum products and petroleum production history. In a modern world, the dependence of national economies of petroleum industry is significant. Now that oil is a major energy commodity, its economical and political powers become enormous. A state that has its own petroleum resources and exports petroleum and petroleum products achieves success in political and social development. Changes of global petroleum prices and market environment cause changes in economic policies of both petroleum producing and oil importing countries. Oil is a specific commodity with its own quality specifications such as density, chemical and fraction composition, purity. Oil is the origin of many products of great practical value. It is processed, dissolved hydrocarbons, mostly methane are first separated. Then it gets heated, components with the least hydrogen content that had the lowest boiling temperature turn to gas first. As the temperature rises, they are followed by hydrocarbons with higher boiling temperature. This way, we can separate certain blends or fractions of oil. Typically, we obtain three fractures which are then further separated. Thousands of petroleum products are manufactured today. The major ones are liquid, gases and solid fuel, lubricants and technical oils, mineral wax, bitumen, aroma compounds, carbon black, acetylene, ethylene, petroleum acids and salts, high alcohols. These products include fuel gases, gasoline, solvents, kerosene, gas oils, household fuels and wide range of lubricants, oil fuel, paving bitumen and asphalt, paraffin, vaseline, medical and insecticide oils, add creams, ointments, explosives, medicine, cleaning products. But the major consumer of petroleum products is the energy industry. For example, Heat value of fuel oil is larger almost by half than that of top quality coals. It's compact and leaves no hard residue after burning, as power stations, factories, railroads and water transport replace solid fuels with fuel oil their development rocketed. Energy sector is the main petroleum consumer all around the world. The share of oil in global energy balance is more than 46%. Yet, later consumption of petroleum products by the chemical sector has been steadily increasing. Modern chemical industry consumes as much as 8% of all the oil produced. For example, ethyl alcohol is used in about 150 lines of business. Chemical industry makes use of formaldehyde plastics synthetic fabrics, synthetic rubber, ammonia, etc. Petroleum products are used in the agriculture as well. Plant growth stimulants, seed protectants, fertilizers, plastic for hotbeds, etc. Mechanical engineering and metal industry consume all-purpose adhesives, plastic components, lubricants, etc. Petroleum coke is massively used for metal smelting. Compressed black is used to create fireproof lining of smelting furnaces. Food industry makes use of plastic packing, food acids, curing agents, paraffin. Petroleum products are used to create special protein and vitamin supplements. Pharma and beauty industry use petroleum products to produce liquid ammonia, chloroform, formalin, aspirin, vaseline, etc. Petroleum products are used in wood, fabric, shoe and construction industries as well. 
Oil is a very valuable natural resource that showed us the way to the miraculous world of chemical metamorphosis. More than 3,000 of petroleum products exist today. Oil is the world's major energy commodity. It is the core of energy balance of any industrial country. In the future, oil will remain the major energy product and raw material for chemical industry. So, today you have learned a bit more about oil and variety of its derivatives. In our next video, you will learn about its history. See you!